What's going on? Jake here with Uncommon EDC, and today I'm checking out the MKM Malga 6. It's a Swiss Army style, Swiss Army knife style multi-tool, um, designed by Lucas Burnley, uh, who you may recognize the name. He's had a couple really popular designs, uh, namely the CRKT Burnley Squid, which I have here. Um, again, this is Burnley design here on the back. And uh, the Boker Quaken, which I don't actually have uh, Boker Quaken, but was a really popular model for Boker. And they had uh, several, several different variations of it because it was so popular. Um, but onto this knife. This is uh, in the natural micarta. And uh, I got this from Blade HQ for $109.90. I probably should have shopped around more because as I was researching for this video, um, I found this on Amazon for $89. And that listing is from Caviso, who uh, has their own site. And I didn't check the site, but I'm assuming they're probably similarly priced there. And uh, they do a lot of really cool exclusive stuff. Uh, so definitely check them out, even if you're not buying from them. And check the exclusives page, because they've had some really cool ones in the past. And even now, I know of a couple uh, really cool ones that are on the site. So definitely check them out. Um, but for sure, check shop around, because... You know, this was, I found it $20 cheaper, um, although I did buy this a good month and a half or so ago, and I'm just now reviewing it, so it's possible that it wasn't listed at that price at the time I bought it, but it is now, so um, definitely shop around. And the other reason I would shop around is Blade HQ has these in this natural micarta, as well as a green micarta, and everything else that they have is sold out, but on Amazon you can get it in a blue or an orange or even a jade uh, G10 and so there's a lot more variation available uh, so if you're if this style isn't your favorite then would check there because you might be able to get it in something else <clears throat> I also keep this inside this MKM slip uh, pocket sheath and this is also made by MKM and it just kind of magnets into your pocket and so in lieu of a pocket cl uh, clip it just kind of clips to your pants um, and I've also used this on a belt. Um, you can slide a belt through there, and it's pretty secure. Even though it's only held by a magnet, that magnet's pretty strong, and um, have not had any issues with it falling off. Um, so there's a couple of really cool things about this multi-tool that made me order it. Uh, the first one, which will be of interest to a lot of people, is the blade, which is a Buller M390 which you don't typically see in these style multi-tools, the much higher quality steel um, with much better edge retention and corrosion resistance than you typically see in these type of tools. And I've even seen at least one person take this as a donor blade and put it into a custom Victorinox build. Um, so a little bit expensive for a donor blade. Um, obviously, you ideally don't want to pay $90 just for the blade portion of your Victorinox build. The scales can be pretty expensive and uh, um, obviously the price kind of builds up if you're spending $90 on the blade alone. Um, but also there's not really any other alternatives if you want an M390 for a Victorinox custom build. I don't think it's a perfect fit, but um, pretty minor customization compared to anything else out there. Um, again, I'm not sure where you'd even find a uh, M390 blade, this kind of shape that fits in a Victorinox as well, the thickness, which is only 0.1 inch thick. And so kind of a cool option there if that's something you're interested in. But I think this multi-tool stands alone by itself really well. And, uh, you know, I'm not really considering using it as a donor blade, but I'm sure that other people would be very interested in that. The second tool that makes it pretty unique is the fork. Um, it's obviously not entirely unique. There's hobo tools which uh, have kind of a fork knife spoon combo. Those are usually much, much bulkier than this and just kind of thick and unwieldy compared to this. This is really lightweight, coming in at 2.86 ounces, uh, which is really light for a tool this size. I think the liners in here are aluminum, which is cutting down on some of the weight. Um, but overall, this feels really light in the hand, and I really like to pair this with the uh, Spider Coast by Opera, 
which I also have in that natural micarta. This one's a little bit darker. Um, although you can see this one's starting to get darker towards the top, and the bottom isn't mainly because I keep it in the sheath. Um, that's just kind of natural from the oils in your hand getting on it. Um, but obviously in the sheath, it's hitting your hands a lot less, and some of those oils are being absorbed by the leather. So uh, the bottom section's patinating a little bit slower than the top half, but the top half is pretty similar to what we have in the Spider Coast by Opera. Um, so I kind of like to pair these together when I'm when I'm carrying one, I like to carry the other, and um, mainly just because they match, not really for any other reason, but it's a perfect kind of fork and knife combo. Um, if you don't have plastic utensils or you uh, weren't planning on eating um, food or just really want to do some food prep in a weird place that's outside of your house and even if you do have plastic tools, this might be um, a better alternative. For example, if you have like a summer sausage or some chorizo or something and you want to cut that up, you probably would have a not so fun time doing that with plastic cutlery. And so um, really cool option there. And overall, this makes a really, really great um, kind of picnic knife or camp knife for food prep. Um, because of the rest of the tool set as well. Um, so you have the can opener, and this is actually, they're counting as two tools with the tip being a flathead screwdriver. And then, I'm sorry, I called it a can opener. That was actually a bottle opener. This is the can opener. Um, so kind of opposite of each other. Um, and then on the back side, you have a corkscrew, which you can use for opening wine. Um, so right there, everything we've looked at so far can be used for kind of food preppy type stuff so far. And then lastly is just a reamer, which um, isn't food prep, but um, is, fills the space nicely on the rest of the tool. And so both the corkscrew and the reamer, of course, are in the center, center position, which makes a lot more sense than those side positions on the back side of it. And then the last thing, which they're not counting as a tool, but Victorinox does count, is the lanyard hole. Um, so they're saying this has seven tools, and this is counting as two, the can opener and flathead screwdriver. Um, so seven tools in total. One thing I should probably also mention is, although the blade is M390, the rest of the tools are just 420 uh, stainless steel, which makes sense, um, no reason to increase the cost putting M390 on a bunch of tools that we don't care about their edge retention or um, just kind of overall we're not so worried about the steel quality in those and those aren't something that typically fill unless you're using them for something crazy. Um, it's just really not necessary to use the M390 and drive the cost up even higher on those type of tools. Um, so that makes sense. But one thing to keep in mind is that only the blade is M390. And the pull for these feels a bit lighter than the Victorinox tools that I have. Um, I know there's like some sort of rating for pull that people use. Um, I don't know how that's determined or if that's listed anywhere, but it definitely feels lighter to me than um, the pull on a Victorinox. And, uh, that doesn't really affect kind of, I don't feel unsafe using this. It still takes a decent amount of pressure to get it past that locking point. Um, and I never feel like it's gonna like close shut on me or anything like that, but it is at least a decent amount lighter than any of the Victorinox I own. So another thing to keep in mind. But overall, I've been super happy with this. Um, like I said, I think it fits really well in of a picnic type carry or a camping carry where you're doing food prep um, paired with a knife like this. Obviously it doesn't need to be um, the spy opera, but spider co's in general seem to be uh, pretty good food prep knives uh, for me. Uh, they're always super slicey and uh, this one has a nice blade shape for, for food prep. Um, so obviously don't have to pair it with that, but paired with a second knife that you can use, um, one for cutting and one with the fork. Uh, it's just a really, really good combo that I really enjoy. Um, I haven't used it a ton for food prep, um, mainly because I've been stuck at home uh, for the most part, but um, definitely will be in the future and for sure will kind of, that's where when I think to carry it, it will be in those type of roles where 
I'm likely to be doing some sort of food prep or just kind of eating on the road um, or in a camping trip or again a picnic. Uh, I think it works really well there. But let me know if you have this, what you think of it, and um, any other non-Victorinox uh, kind of Swiss Army knife tools that you would recommend. Um, there's not a ton of competition in terms of quality for Victorinox. I mean, I, obviously there's a few players, um, but a lot of what you get are just Victorinox knockoffs where the quality is not even close. And so nice to see just kind of another competitor. I'm not sure if they're going to do any more of this style of knife um, or if they're just going to stick to their normal knives, um, but definitely excited to see high quality kind of Swiss Army knife style multi-tools coming out. Um, again, because competition is always good for the consumer, you know it can drive prices down, it can increase the quality and just uh, really push innovation where they're trying to differentiate from other companies. And so always good to see that type of thing. Uh, but thanks so much for watching. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And as always, I hope you have a great day.